Good day, race fans. I'm Sandy Pondwater coming to you from the Region 7 IOM Championships. The location, the beautiful pond in Melbourne, Florida, and it's hosted by the Space Coast Model Sailing Club. Today, 26 sailors battle it out for supremacy. Here's a preview of our course. The yellow marks are either going to be marks or gates, depending on what the race director decides. Usually they race two laps. After they finish the second lap, the finish line is to the left before returning to the dock. Now let's meet our sailors. Hi, I'm Fred Rocha. I'm here at Melbourne, Florida for the AMA IOM Region 7 Championship. Today we're on a second day. Great weather, great turnout. We have 26 competitors all over the country and we have fun. Here to have fun and hosting 26 guys from all over the country. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Bill. My sale number is 140. I'm a rookie. This is my first regatta. I'm having a hell of a good time. I do not know what to expect by the end of the day. <laughs> it's everybody's guess. Thank you. I'm Chuck Milliken, uh, president of AMYA. We're here for the District 7 uh, IOM regatta. I sail boat number 21. And uh, today looks like a decent day, but wind isn't quite here yet. It's warming up. So no matter what happens, we've got good friends here and good camaraderie. So, thank you. I'm from uh, Plantation, Florida, and my boat is uh, number 25. It's, uh, it's, con it's called a uh, K2, and uh, I'm here hoping that the breeze will come up in the right direction so that we can have some quality racing. You know, yesterday was very light, but uh, I'm hoping that uh, today we'll get better weather in the right direction. Hopefully that stick will come from the north. And the camaraderie is great, so I'm glad to be back into the IOM fleet again because I exited for five or three years and now I'm moving again. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Eddie Wolf and my sail number is 141. It's a Vickers V11. It's uh, having a great time down here. Uh, fortunate enough to work remotely and I'm down here with my parents for the winter and doing a bunch of sailing, including IOMs. So having a <laughs> Good time, happy to be here. Yeah, hi, I'm Gary and I'm sailing uh, Britpop and it's USA 7-1. Um, live in San Francisco and felt very fortunate to have Gary Winton put this Region 7 on for our group. You can see today supposedly the breeze is going to fill out of the northwest. Maybe we're going to see three to four. Um, the top portion of this group is separated by a total of six points. So it's still tight racing, but my number one goal being here is to beat Bart. Thank you. Hi, I'm Gary. Uh, I'm a member of the uh, Melbourne uh, Model Yacht Club. Uh, I'm sailing this weekend. I'm sailing a Vickers V11, number 54. And we're, today we're looking forward to some a light breeze. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to get a few races in before the end of the day. Um, it's, uh, we were able to get in six six races yesterday, and uh, I think everyone here is having a good time. So um, that's that's it. Hi, my name's George, and my gym number's 22. And today we're hoping for some wind, and hopefully it stays from the north. Which this <coughs> pond is perfect for. And I'm hoping to sail a little better than I did yesterday. 
Henry Cercio, Charleston, South Carolina, here at Melbourne, Florida for the Region 7 Championship. Um, been sailing IOMs for a year. It's, it's a new challenge for me. Uh, great group of people, great venue. Uh, and my long-term goals is, is to beat my partner who's right behind the camera person here. And, uh, but I'm not gonna do it today, I don't think. But it's a great, it's a great organization and a great club and uh, really great sailing. A lot of really competitive and that's what really makes it fun. Thanks. Hey, good morning, my name's Martin. I'm uh, sailing 07 here. I'm from the Charleston uh, Yacht Club. Uh, here at my first major IOM event and just hoping to, to enjoy myself, which I did yesterday and hoping today's just a, another good day. Sounds like a John Deere. My name is Michel, sail number. 1990 and uh, I came from New Jersey to beat the Floridians and uh, I'm originally French and uh, I love this community and I love this park too. Now whether they beat me or I beat them it doesn't matter. At the end we all win. Is that okay? My name is Mike Doyle. I'm from Charleston, West, uh, South Carolina. Uh, I'm selling a, a jib number 29. Uh, I expect the cream to rise to the top today. Uh, we'll see some uh, excellent boaters uh, showing their skills. And I, my attempt is to uh, tackle anybody in the field that I can. You gotta love him, man. He's so good. I'm Peter Feldman. Uh, I sail uh, sail number 44. Uh, I'm from Michigan in the summer and Florida in the winter. And we're at the Region 7 in Melbourne. Uh, light winds today. Uh, try and get as many races as we can in. And so, it should be a good day. Morning. How you guys doing? Tony Gonzalez here. Uh, bar 51. Uh, having some fun. Uh, at Space Coast Mall Yacht Club. Uh, today we have uh, very, very light winds. Uh, hopefully we will get some racing in. But uh, having whole lots of fun here in this beautiful sunshine, not a cloud in the sky. Uh, approximately temperatures are in the 50s right now, but should warm up to about 70. So really looking forward to sailing and having some fun here with yeah. these guys. Here we go. Race eight on day two. This is B Fleet. Now they already jumped the start early once and had to be recalled. So let's see if they do a better job on this start. And they're away. Don't forget the jive and attack. <laughs> and they do a fine job, but as we see, 96, Mike C got a late start. And number 83, Christian is out in front. Those are some beautiful boats. <laughs> and number 99, Mike Gelf, and number 141, Edward, are fighting it out for second place. And here comes number 91, Jim. And we see number 112, Scott, is catching up too. And that rounds out your top five. Jim is the first attack. And number 83, Christian, is still in first place. 
as he is wing on wing. Here comes number 141, Edward, to the front. Now they changed from last race, and now this end is gonna be a gate, at least for the first lap. A gate is where they go in between both of the marks, which are those yellow marks, and they can choose which side, as you can see, the majority of the boats are taking the gate, going around the mark, that's closest to where we're at. And we have a collision. We had some rubbing going on between number 26 and number 83. And no foul is called. Rubbing is racing. So as we were talking about the gates, it's always a gamble on which side is going to give you the best win. And in this instance, the majority gambled that the win would be better on the closer gate. Now we can see the group that took the inside gate. They're all coming across the course on Port Tack. And look at that, some of the boats that took the outside gate actually gained an advantage. Look at that. And number 123, Henry is now in first place. You see what I was telling you sailors about picking which gate? In this instance, the outside gate proved fruitful. And the wind just lightened up a little bit, but at least they're still moving. And look at that. Number 83 Christian has taken back first place. As we can see, number 123 is in second place. Henry's trying to make a comeback. He's trying to reel in number 83. And as we can see, number 99, Mike F is in third place, followed by number 29, who is Mike D. And there we see number 96. He stayed up with the pack. Remember, he got a late start. In fact, he has pulled ahead of at least one boat. Because you can see 112 right there. That is Scott. And there goes number 141. That beautiful pink boat of Edward. has now caught up with the leaders. And you saw we just changed from our cameras. We have two Sail Wars volunteers out here today on the cameras. And look at that, number 29, Mike D takes the lead. Yes, I was, as I was saying, a big shout out thank you to our Sail Wars volunteers. They do this because they love sailing. That's the only reason they give their time to make these great videos. 
look how close the whole fleet is now. They've all gotten up close together. So, back to our Cell Wars volunteers. The way you can thank them is not just watching these videos, but actually take the time to subscribe. On this side, they have to go around both marks. This is not a gate like it was in the last races. They actually made this a mark. So you have to go around that mark right there, number six, and then travel down to the other one before heading back upwind. Now there's a rumor that went around that number 96, Mike C, was watching Sailworth videos and did not subscribe. And that's why his boat was having problems and he was late getting in into the water. We'll have to check with Mike and see if that's the case. But let's keep an eye out on how he does in this competition and especially this race. Christian, number 83, is currently in first place. It looks like the wind is better if you just head right back up the course. Though we do see some boats coming over here towards the shore, I would be trying to get back onto that tack heading up the course as soon as possible. And as you can see, that's what the leaders are doing as the fleet begins to spread out. You can see number 93 is in first, number 99, Mike F is in second. Wow, look at that boat go. The wind's really picking up. As you can see, the power going into the sails. Look at how close some of those boats are getting to shore. Cell Wars would also like to thank the many volunteers that it took to put on this regatta. Most of them were from the Space Coast Model Sailing Club, but I know there was others from around the area. And, of course, you saw our race director at the beginning of this video. A big shout out and thank you all for making this wonderful event happen. We had people from all around the world show up for this event. And as you can see in the background, and then of course behind me, lots of spectators loved to come out and watch these races. Now, from what I understand, on this lap, they have 
reversed where the gates and marks are. So this, on this second lap, is going to be marks. Remember, on the first lap, they were gates. That's why you see many of the boats hanging way over on the right. And then they're going to get back on starboard as they can get close to that mark. There's always an advantage going around the marks on starboard because you usually have the right of way. There are cases when you don't, but usually it's better to be on starboard. As you can see, some of these other boats are coming in on port. That can be very dangerous. See the blue boat? He is on starboard, so he has the right away. All those other boats coming up to him have to yield because they're on port. And look at that. Number 83 rounds that mark and is headed downwind for the last time. They're kind of close around that mark. But they did the right thing. They stayed off of each other. When they do those extra tacks, that takes up valuable time. So you always one attack as least as possible because it bleeds off your speed. Now we've caught back up to our leader, number 83. And as we could see by our camera panning in on him, he has a huge lead. And look at that, number 83, Christian, he is really moving. Look at that little wake his boat's putting off. Incredible. Now we got to catch up to our second place boat, number 91. Yes, Jim is currently in second place. But look at how far the leader is ahead of all of them. Number 141 was really moving. Are they going to be able to catch our leader? And there is our leader. He's heading down to the gates. Now, they have changed from the first lap. Now, these are gates. Now, remember, of course, the gates you go in between, and you can pick which one you're going to go out and around. And as we could see, it looked like he was going to take the gate that was closest to us. And here comes the rest of the boats. They are really moving fast. But is it going to be enough? As we see, our leader is headed back up wind towards the finish line and he's really moving along his sails are adjusted really nicely and look at this two of these boats are headed towards the inside gate and one is going for the outside gate i believe that was the light blue boat going towards the outside gate let's see if it helps him um let's see he went in, I believe, in fourth, and he comes out in third or fourth, somewhere real close. And we're catching back up with our leader. And 
Position number 83, Christian wins race eight of the B Fleet. That means he'll be moving up to A Fleet. Congratulations, Christian. Nine one. And number two, 91, six. Jim takes second place. And number 26, John takes yeah. third place. Nine nine. And number 99, Mike F takes fourth place. Look at those two boats battling it out. They're both moving along really nicely. But I don't believe there's any way they're going to catch number 141. 141. And number 141, Edward, goes ahead and takes fifth place. Now the battle is for sixth place. And number 29 has gone ahead and taken about a three boat length lead. Two nine. And number 29, Mike D, takes sixth place. Choo choo. Followed by number 22, George, who takes seventh place. One, two, three. And number one, two, three, Henry takes eighth place. And one, number one, one, two, one, two Scott nine, takes six, ninth six, place. Position, Mike. And number 96, Mike C, yeah. takes Dick. tenth place. Here is our top five. Congratulations to all of our winners. And a big thank you to our newest subscribers. We thank you so much. This guy watched our videos but didn't subscribe. Make sure you subscribe or you may get the Cell Wars curse. And of course, we love the AMYA. Look them up on the internet. And make sure you look out on the internet to find your local club. And a big shout out to our newest supporting club, the Point of Rocks Model Yacht Club in Maryland. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And of course, Sail Wars loves all of our fans. Thank you for subscribing. Now, we do need some help from our webmasters out there at our local clubs. Make sure you make it easy for all your members and put a link to the Sail Wars homepage on your website. This is what the Sail Wars homepage looks like. It's amazing. It has links to all the playlists, which we've got all the different races divided up. Or you can just look at all of our vehicles. We have well over 100 vid videos now. And of course, you can subscribe on this homepage. But I know all of you have already subscribed. And don't forget to look for the best of Sail Wars. This is Sandy Palmwater. See you at the races.